Hey you all there, virtual farmers and builders. Thanks for clicking. Are you excited? Cause I'm totally excited. Today's a quick video on a recent invention added to Garden Paws world called the Resource Activated Machine, or RAM for short. This amazing little creation developed by Bit and Toast is basically a 3D printer for making use of excess easily farmable materials. And oh my, does it have some lovely projects that it can produce. So let's go over a short run through of how to get it and some previews of what you can do with it. The quest line starts with accepting a magical object. If you're still early on in the game, note that you must already have Roman, the blueprint vendor, unlocked from Frank's upgrade table. He's going to be the pony making the request for this magical machine. He already knows it's a considerable expense, but might as well ask, so your first step after the quest acceptance is running through town to chat with the mayor. Roman has set your expectations accordingly. The mayor isn't exactly interested in your side project tech innovation and your startup pitch is rejected. Instead, he sends you to chat with Charlie about some problem plaguing the town. So once you get outside the town gates, where Charlie's usually dancing around, you can pick up the quest Pollution Resolution. The town's crisis turns out to be tons of trash washing up on beaches, so we're off to collect some soggy paper from around the shoreline behind town. After that, you can turn it in for Shed More Light, your first favor to the mayor has now turned to a to-do list because you're referred to take John Stone some torches to better light up the caves for mining activities. He's going to want 10 of them, so might as well get that errand done. An overnight wait later, go back to John Stone because they figured out that it actually doesn't work too well to have to carry around those torches, so he wants to see what Frank, Malu, and Alberto might have in mind for fixes to the quest Light It Up. Alberto has nothing for you, but Frank is always good for a constructive creation. He's got an idea where he wants a fallen star, a piece of glass, and a single quartz for Brighten My Day. Baloo was actually already working on a solution for the miner's problem. She's looking for 10 cloth, 10 stone, and 10 copper. It might take a moment to get this list together, but there are several great rewards that come through this quest line. including the reward from Frank, since his experiment wasn't quite as powerful as he had hoped. It ends up being a spotlight that scans the sky with beams that can be painted with furniture brushes. This comes from the quest called Shining a Light. And oh my goodness, I've got tons of ideas for this new item. <laughs> Malou is particularly frustrated with her project and apparently has chucked the copper into the water in Not So Bendy. So we have to mine up 10 more for Beltran to assist with executing the production of the prototype. Conveniently, he's going to deliver that himself, so you only need to revisit with Malou after rolling a day for safety first. She will give you a spare prototype of the miner's hat that she had in mind. Hold on to this and the spotlight for a later quest.
head back up to the miners on top of the town mine and give them Malou's hats. Hmm? Unfortunately, at this point, since no one has any ideas, you're just stuck waiting. But check back for Steven, because he's about to save the day with the quest Steven's stuff, in which he confesses to having an idea that if you're willing to hand over the hat and the light, we just might figure this out. So now, you just have to wait another night. The following day, you'll be able to pick up the quest, This Hat is Lit, from Steven. It's great news that his invention is getting rave reviews from the other miners, so it looks like you'll finally have a fix, plus there was an extra miner's hat complete with a light just for you left over. Finally, after all this, you can go chat with the mayor once more, and this time, he's a little more receptive to your startup. He's already negotiated with Roman, so just make your way back to the blueprint vendor kiosk to order your machines. They come in plant fiber, wood, and stone varieties. We gotta wait for them to come in the mail. But note the box next to Roman that contains some brightly colored ships. This is where you can find the RAM recipes that he has mentioned. Different chips are offered each day randomly and can be purchased for 250G each. How they work is by depositing 100 resources and choosing a chip for the decorative item that you'd like to make. Then you let the machine do its thing. It takes up a good portion of a day to run, but by the time it's done, you'll have a cute new display item to fill up tables, shelves, or other furniture. These are going to be extremely helpful to filling up space and making things more colorful in our creative spaces. Much appreciation for this addition to Garden Paws. This is also a very clever way to help players use up the farmable materials which are abundantly scattered. Not to mention a really cool design and animation to go with it. I'm going to use these as some CNC type machines for my go-kart garage. I finally started doing some interior decorating on my story mode primary home, and it looks so much more full of life with all this food around. Here are some preview shots of the final products. Hopefully this video helped you figure out how to get these brilliant 3D printing machines into your own story mode so that you can get some tasty looking treats for your builds. Thanks for stopping by, and if you like building in Garden Paws, check out the playlist. Take care all, and bye bye